Good evening, everyone. This has been the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it. I say that this has been the day because it's practically at the end of the day, and I'm just getting around to sending uh, you all the weekly email. So please forgive the tardiness of it, but I had to make a uh, long distance trip today to go visit a cousin uh, who was gravely ill. And um, we're just getting back from uh, the trip. God kept us and took us there safely. So we're here to greet you and give you our uh, normal weekly greeting. First and foremost, Psalm 65 and 11. He crowned the year with a bountiful harvest, and even a hard pathway is overflow with abundance. Numbers 14 and 8. And if the Lord is pleased with us, he will bring us safely into that land and give it to us. It is a rich land flowing with milk and honey. And finally, First Chronicles 23 and 26 says, Now the Levites will no longer need to move the furnishings of the temple from place to place. Father, we thank you for giving us the International Goodness Fellowship rest, relief, and release from the days of corporate nomadic worship as you establish us in a place of our own this month in Jesus' name. Well, the uh, weekly readings are contained in this email for today. Also, just like to remind you of um, our uh, weekly, or I should say our Wednesday and Friday uh, prayer meetings, Wednesday and Friday mornings, 6.45 to 7.45, a.m. Also, our Wednesday evening video session, which will convene this Wednesday. It will convene this Wednesday at 7.30. There's some things we just want to discuss uh, in line with our anticipation of just moving to the next level of our locations where the ministry is concerned. And I also want to remind you that we are still fasting on Wednesdays um, as we are prevailing in prayer and expectation of the Lord to move on our behalf as far as sweeping the airwaves is concerned so that things that belong to us, there can be an exchange, an open exchange between us and heaven and we receive them both individually and, collective, and collectively. Um, well, that's going to be it uh, for this evening, rather short email. Uh, and also the link for this past Sunday's message will be in this email as well. The link for this past Sunday's message will be in this email as well so that you can go back and view it on Zoom. Some of you have inquired, and um, we're going to make an effort to see how we can edit that particular uh, session so that it doesn't have the entire session, just the word. Amen? So as soon as we're able to make that happen, we will let you know. But that's all for uh, this evening and for this week. I pray that you're safe, that the Lord is keeping you, and that everything that the Lord is doing in your lives during this season in pre season, excuse me, in preparation for the next season that you're being faithful to follow. Well, God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. Let the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, you are our strength and our redeemer. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above that we could ask or think, according to the power that works in us, and to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all ages, world without end. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and lift his countenance upon you and be gracious unto you and give you peace and be with you now forevermore. It's in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that we say and pray. Amen. Have a good evening, everybody. God bless you.